Hey there, friends. It's Mike Paninga. I am standing at one of my favorite places, really, which is the tennis court. I grew up playing tennis. I love the game. It's a lot of fun. It's good exercise and it's a good sport. Uh, but I also use tennis when it comes to the metaphor of engaging in conversation with someone who I don't know. You'll notice that in a can of tennis balls, there's not one, there's not two, there's three tennis balls. And when I enter into a conversation with someone who I don't know, who I might meet at a work event or at a networking connection point, I have a couple of conversation pieces in my pocket. I'll have one, I'll have two, I'll have three. And when I meet someone, I will knock one of these conversation pieces over. Hey, how did you get involved in this line of work? And I'm going to watch. Do they knock it back to me? Do they answer? Do they ask the question back to me? Does that conversation piece get knocked back over the net to me? Sometimes they'll just let it go by and it'll hit the back of the net or the fence. And then I have a choice of my second conversation piece that I'll knock over there. Hey, what are you hoping to get out of today? And I'll watch. Are they wanting to play? Are they wanting to engage? If someone says no or lets it go the first and the second, I don't often knock over a third conversation item. Uh, and so when I go into, go into meetings or go into places where I'm meeting somebody new, I'll always have a couple of these conversation pieces, these conversation starters in my pocket, and I'll go first. I'll knock it over. I'll see if they want to play. I'll see if that ball comes back to me. If it doesn't once, I'll try a second. If it doesn't a second, I'll take my conversation uh, questions and I'll move on to somebody else. It's a metaphor. It's been helpful for me. I hope it's helpful for you. Have fun out there in the game of conversations with new people. You might just be amazed who wants to play with you. Bye for now.